So what we talking about today? We talking about communicating with love. We talked about it last week in regards to happy wife, happy life. Just like with your children, when you notice they're acting a little different, okay, mm -hmm. wait a minute, let's sit down and talk about this. But we wanted to also dive deeper to talk about ways of communication and just different things in relation to it. But we asked you guys to spot the ladybug. And we wanted you all to comment below in our last episode. We have a winner. We have a winner. Yay. Shout out to Dion Jones. Yeah. The ladybug, which is over my shoulder. And it was behind Marilyn's um, back on her shelf. And she has it right there. Thank you for watching. Welcome Thank to you. our lady face, Dion. And you are one of us now. We would love to have you on one day. Yes, we would. Share your story. Tell us everything we're with it. Because this is where you can talk about it. <laughs> okay, guys. So today we're talking about communicating with love. I'm going to piggyback off of my friend's love language, which is words of affirmation. I looked up some things and it was pretty much saying that this like reassurance, encouraging words or compliments are just communicating that way would be powerful for you. It doesn't necessarily all the time have to be words okay. that are spoken. Okay. You can also communicate through written notes, text. As we know, text messages get misinterpreted all the time. You don't know the intent behind it. You don't know. Some people text in all caps. They're not necessarily fussing or yelling or arguing with you. They just have their cap on. Telling me things that are reassuring or like I said, tell me you love me. Tell me I'm beautiful. Tell me how much I mean to you. You don't have to verbally say it. If you write it out in a message or a note, same thing, you're still communicating. And even, I guess, nonverbal. Do you have any examples of like a nonverbal way that you would feel? Hugs to me are nonverbal communication because with COVID, you can't hug on nobody, but I used to be around here hugging on everybody. Especially if I hadn't seen you in a while. Oh, you're gonna right. get these hugs. I think hugs are good ways, body posture, the way that you're sitting, standing, if you're closed up or if you're, a, you know, sit back and you're, you know, sitting up straight versus hunched over doing on this all of those are different ways of communicating you have to be aware of that because you may not mean nothing by it but the right. person that you're talking to may take it offensively or the wrong way because they may think you're not paying attention which goes back to the eye contact i want my show more love for the communicate with love tribute today <laughs> well i am worthy oh. of that good communication Where i know that's right <laughs> that communicating with love is very important in relationships because it'll allow you to explain yourself to someone in a loving manner where they can actually listen to you. Because I think sometimes the way that you say stuff it will make a person stop listening to you. If they feel like you're being ugly or if you're being rude, then they're not going to listen. But if you try to, you know, communicate with love, then they may open up a little bit more. And sometimes like if you have a, like a keyword or like my husband, for instance, when he want to say something, he's not sure how I'm going to take it. He say, mm -hmm. well, just in my opinion. When I know mm -hmm. he's hard that, I already know he's about to say something that he probably think that I don't uh, agree with or whatever. But I already have myself ready to just communicate with love when he say that. Because I already know, you know, what you about to say in your opinion, would <laughs> That makes sense because you want to let them know, I'm letting you know how I feel, but I don't want to offend you. But if I do offend you, that ain't that wasn't my intent. Right. It's just my opinion. Because it can happen. I'm guilty yeah. myself. Right. <laughs> and then, like, communicating is a way of helping the, the person that you're talking to and yourself meet the need, I guess, that you're trying to get to a need. Like, whatever you're trying to get across, you'll probably meet that need faster communicating with love or compassion or kindness. Like they said, that you get more easy with honey. We're saying communicate with love, but let's break the love down. When you're having a conversation, a lot of times, like you said last week, we're ready to respond. We're not right. paying attention. So right. when you're listening with love, you're actually, well, when you're communicating with love, 
You're actually listening to gain understanding mm-hmm. while also validating what they're yeah. telling you. You well, get it? L U V. L U V. Say it louder for the people in the back in case they missed it. Listening to understand while validating what they're saying. That's why it's important when you're, especially if you're in an argument. Let's talk right. about arguments. And I don't like to call them arguments. I call them discussions. <laughs> like, I don't argue. I discuss. That's right. You don't want it to be like a ping pong match. Tip for tap. You say, I say. You say, I say. You want to make sure you're actually listening. And right. when you're communicating your feelings, if it's something you feel strongly about, that's when those I and me statements are so important. I feel what you said made me feel because you don't want to point the finger because that's when defenses goes up. So if I keep saying, well, you did and you did and you did, right. but right. if I say I felt this way when this happened, then I think the person that you're communicating with will be more open to listening to what you're saying and they will have a better understanding of it. So you want to make sure that they, whoever you're talking to validates what you're saying because if you're telling somebody, okay, I stumped my toe, my toe hurt, but that will go sit down somewhere. Well, you're not right. hearing me. My toe that, hurt. That validation is, is deep, friend, because at the end of the day, I think that's what we all want. Like, we want to know that you're listening. We want to know that we heard and that you validate my point. Just saying, okay, okay, yeah, I got it. No, right. That's not communicating. You, you're you not listening to the words that are coming out of my mouth. So, I still heard that in my head. <laughs> so just to be able to sit down and explain what's going on and how something made you feel, putting that love on top, put my love on top. You put my love on top. Top, 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 top. Okay, no, sorry. Sorry. I had you. I had you. I feel like I'm, and then I want you to tell me how you feel, you know, about your communication. I feel like I'm better. Like, I did not used to be a great communicator. I'm from Mobile, and if you know a lot of people from Mobile, we yell regularly. Like, just our regular conversation is loud. And the, if you didn't know me, an innocent bystander could be like, well, why is she yelling at them? And I could just really be having a real conversation. Like, man, you go out to eat. Mm-hmm. You talk a little louder than a normal person. So people right. can't be like, well, is she yelling at her? No. That's just <laughs> how we talk. I've learned to try to, I guess, be a little more softer, a little bit not quick to be upset, or not quick to judge, not quick to jump to conclusions. And just trying to let, let the person actually finish out what they're saying before I respond. So I feel like I'm working on me with that. And that's a good thing because I just keep hearing in my head, practice the pause. What I've learned in my research as the Google Queen, before you speak, listen. Before you react, pause. And before you act, think. I think if you practice these methods or tools or whatever you want to call them when you're communicating, I think it would allow you to have more effective communication because if someone is trying to convey something to you, you're too busy like, oh my gosh, why are they still talking? What are they talking right. about? You want to hear? You ain't heard and then they say it. But if you are really listening to it, it's something you may gain from it. Before you respond, okay, take a moment to process what you just heard mm-hmm. and then reply. It's like at a job interview you send out a job interview they ask you okay so tell me your strength aren't you gonna take a pause before you reply to that that question and you know what to piggyback off of that you know how sometimes when they, they ask you a question and you either don't really know the answer or you just you're not sure hey can you repeat that let me just make sure i understand what you're saying or to flip it so what you're saying is Exactly. Ask them what they say, and then that way everybody will be on the same page, and you'll know exactly, you know what they're trying to say. Right. Well, the PTP. <laughs> Communication. It is the key to the soul. It's the key. It could be the the ruin of mm-hmm. your life. It could be the ruin of your relationship, but, or it could be love in the city forever. <laughs> People divorce because they can't communicate. Like how? Mm-hmm. Why? Why would you do? Why would you let something like communication? Stop you from being with your husband or wife for the rest of your life. I'm not a confrontational person. If it's something wrong, like I said before, I'm gonna make sure it's not me. Mm-hmm. Or if it is me, I'm gonna check myself. Mm-hmm. But some people don't know how to approach a conversation without it being confrontational. Instead of them addressing the issue for what it is, they retreat, they start closing themselves off. And before you know it, that fence has been built up. So now you got this void in your marriage or in your relationship because you ain't been talking. Why haven't you been talking? Because you're mad about something you don't want to talk about. How do you get past that? Okay, help me, friend. So, okay, somebody say something to you. We 
communicating, right? So you gonna say something bad, and then they just shut down. Wait a minute. Yeah. We have the dialogue. How you can say what you wanna say? Right. And then when I respond, doesn't matter. This a response. Then you shut down. No, that's not how they work. You know why they shut down? Cause they don't want to deal. And they didn't want to hear what you said. And they they wanted what you to agree with what they said. People want to so say what they want to say, and then you don't get you don't get to say nothing. You say something, you wrong. That's not community. That's not right. That's that's a speech. That's not a conversation. How do you deal with that? Do you just stop communicating with that person, or do you give them a breather and go back? I'm a strong believer in meeting people where they are. If I see that we're not getting anywhere, okay, let's let's take a pause. Let's take a break. Right. This conversation ain't going nowhere. Let's take a moment, dissect what has transpired, and then let's come back at a later time and really finish this conversation. You can't totally avoid it. At some point, you gotta put all the cards on the table and talk about what needs to be discussed. But if somebody is just dead set on not talking, that's another conversation gotta be had. Like, if we can't communicate, then we can't coexist. Period. I think that I have, is it called, is it like codependency? Like, I have therapists, it's sketched on my forehead, like, you can't. Mm-hmm. But it's like for everybody around me, it's like they don't. It's like I'm a dump. Mm-hmm. They don't, don't, don't. And I know you the same thing too. Mm-hmm. Like, don't, this don't, shoulder don't. is heavy. Yes. And it's it's like, laid you know, everywhere. But you want to help people, you know, you want to listen to them, you want people to be. But it's just like, at what point, like, when it starts spilling over onto you? And what you got going on because believe it or not you can think like we watch stuff on social media you you think that stuff don't affect us we watch stuff on tv it does like if you watch it enough yeah if you go and look at it enough if somebody's bringing you negative energy enough it's gonna come out people that don't believe that that's true so sometimes people outside can see what you can't see or so people trying to communicate and tell you that like start listening people sometimes you have blinders on I think you have to acknowledge the fact that 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 problem exists. A lot of people fail to realize that they're not good communicators. Or if it's something going on because you give people the benefit of the doubt, you just blow it off. And it takes you reaching that breaking point, which you don't even realize is a breaking point until you go back and replay the whole scenario. Like, wait a minute, this been going on a long time. It's just one of those things. You just never know until you're faced with it. But when you are, I think you have to identify that this is what's going on. And sometimes you have to ask yourself, okay, can I do anything about it? Is it something I need to change? Do I need to be self-aware? Be like, wait a minute, I'm not doing this right. So maybe I'm not communicating properly. Oh, because I always try to go back and say, okay, what did I do? Because I I know I be missing up. It is what it is. But I I can own my stuff. I look in the mirror and be like, yeah, you was wrong for that. Now, am I going to come back and apologize? Depend. Ain't no who it is. <laughs> but I'm gonna change my behavior. I'm, I'm with you when you was like, you meet people where they are too. So again, some people communication is they can't respond right then. Mm-hmm. Okay, I give you two examples. If I'm talking to you, I'm saying this on the phone with me. You're like, yeah, and you right, okay. But then when you hang up, you process later. Mm-hmm. Some people process later, and then they come back and be like, hey, wait a minute. That- I didn't like how you said that or mm-hmm. that's not what I mean. And I'm thinking to myself, I guess I processed my stuff right then. So I'm like, well, well, why didn't you say that before? Well, you know, I had to process. That's the first A part. And then B part is people that like can't talk, period. Mm-hmm. Why are you trying to talk to them about something? They can't talk, period. They have to come. They don't just make it up and say, yes, I agree with you then. They don't say nothing. I can't talk about it right now. <laughs> I need a week. Some people just can't process. They have to like calm down. I think they have to calm themselves because they know if they speak right then, it's going to be what the first person that had to come back to you, they're going to tell theirs right then. So instead of just giving you all that, they go away and then they come back. I'm kind of some of that because I be having delayed reactions sometimes. Like, wait a minute, did they get small on me? And I'm guilty of getting small with people and they come back, wait a minute, did she get small on me? But sometimes stuff go over my head because I'm thinking one thing, but the person, whoever I'm talking to is thinking something else i can see where they may have saying you know what let me go think about this for a minute and all conversations don't necessarily have to be had in that moment of exactly. conflict or whatever is going exactly. on sometimes it's best to, to get yourself together because you don't want to treat conversation and relationships like business meetings but you gotta go into these things prepared people try to run circles around you like you don't know what you're talking about so you yeah. have to have examples and bullet points and be like xyz on this day this is what you did powerpoint presentation <laughs> screenshots <laughs> gifts i don't know if you had
have a new way of, you know, things you're thinking that you can probably do different with your communication. But I have one that I've realized that I can do better for me. It's like, I know you, you my bestie, my salt and pepper. We really don't have, we don't have no issues. Like I got other friends that I have issues with, but we don't have those problems. So if one day some was off, instead of pop, 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 pop back, I'm starting to think, you know what? You never know what's going on in people's life. Mm -hmm. You don't know what they're dealing with. You don't know if they got responsibilities that they can't handle. Mm -hmm. So sometimes if not, that's a regular person, a norm for them to be popping off. Then you like, whatever, I'm You're just going to take it. But if it's right. not, I'm starting to like take, a, like you say, take a pause and say, oh, you know what? I'm going to let them have it. I ain't going to get them. I'm going to let them mm -hmm. have it because something must be going on. And just more of, instead of trying to get them back or tip the tip, dive into, you know, are you okay? I think this, that's another part of communication. Yeah. Checking up on people, making sure people are okay because people are not okay. Especially nowadays, yeah, it's so much going on. I mean, we're just blessed to be alive just to wake up with the, with the pandemic going on. I think, like you said, you have to put yourself in their shoes because you don't know what's going on. But in addition to that, when you are having good communication and communicating with love, make sure that you're creating an environment where they feel safe and right. free of judgment. That's because you don't understand what they're saying. You can't relate to what they're saying. That does not mean what they're saying is not valid. That goes back to validate. And when you right. validate something, you're actually supporting the fact that what they're saying is their truth. Exactly. It may not be yours, but, but it's true. their truth. So it is valuable to them. So exactly. you need to respect that. Right. And if you can't agree, then that's one of those situations where you say, I understand. I'm here for whatever you need. But don't ever make someone feel like you're judging them or you're not validating their feelings. On top of that, when you communicate with love, that's you showing the person respect. But when you respect the person that you talk to, it's easier to speak with them, you know, communicate with love to them. I found this quote, friends, and it talked about how to keep a relationship. Communicate! Talk about things, the good and the bad. Mm -hmm. Build trust. Be honest. Be faith, be there for one another, make time for one another, mm -hmm. lead the past to the past, which includes knowing that having an argument is normal. Say that again. It's normal, guys. We're human. We're gonna disagree, okay? Just don't stay there. Don't stew in that. That's where you gotta mm -hmm. move on. Mm -hmm. Know that you want to always be happy. Mm -hmm. Don't expect change. Appreciate the flaw. Yeah. Appreciate each other. Become best friends like me and Tawana. And let's <laughs> love each other unconditionally. And I like the fact that you talked about appreciating each other. And I'll keep this in relationships in regards to your significant other. People forget about dating. Yeah. Just because you're married, just because you've been together forever, that don't mean stop dating each other. Yeah. Date night is important. It don't necessarily have to mean that you actually going somewhere. Make a picnic in the living room. Netflix, Hulu, cook a dinner together. You yeah. know, do things like that. Send them a random text throughout the day to let them know that you're thinking about them. Ooh, baby, I can't wait for you to get home. Compliment them. You already know my day is Tuesday. Look, and my friends respect that. Like, they know Tuesday is, is Marilyn's date day. Well, her mm -hmm. husband, don't be calling her. Don't be talking to her. Like, that day is set aside for us to just enjoy each other. Like, he work all the time. So, mm -hmm. that's his off day. So, that's right. our time. Communicating that with others and for them mm -hmm. to respect is communicating with love to me. Now, you want to make sure you have those friendships and relationships with people, but you got to make sure that you're putting the most into your family, into yeah. your significant other. So if you're on a date or if you're spending this quality time with each other, but you're always in your phone, mm -hmm. texting somebody, you're not paying attention, eye contact, that's going to make them feel some type of way. And again, that is a part of communicating is the eye contact. Mm -hmm. So if someone else has to take part of your time that you're supposed to be spending with your significant other, then mm -hmm. they're going to feel some type of way. Right. So show that appreciation for them by giving them that respect right. to let them know that here come one of them, Lord Jesus. Like we're going to be that podcast. What? We made it through three podcasts with being disturbed. It's back to communicating. It's, okay. it's very important. You have to make sure that you have those conversations because as you're growing, you want to grow together. Right. So if you're not spending that time with each other, enjoying each other, communicating with each other, you're going to look up and realize we ain't got nothing in common. Yeah.
you. What we gonna talk like about? Each other, forget love. We don't even like each other. A lot of people, you know, they think they love a person. They really in love. So if that person gains weight, you don't really love them anymore because you just was with them for how they look. We run really back in. That's another topic, child. Girl, <laughs> I was finna, I was finna run with that one. Oh, it reminded me of when I met my husband. We met on a date now. With my profile picture, well, my pictures I had on my profile, I had pictures where my weight was heavy. I had pictures where I was smaller. To let okay. you know, you can all these versions. I come They all me. They all me. They all me. They all me. <laughs> I let him know, look, I've never been skinny. I've never been slim, but I've been thick, extra thick, and super thick. So you yeah. finna see all these versions. Yeah. Because I wanted to communicate <laughs> now, they look, I may look different from, from time to time. And if you ain't okay with that, then keep on swiping. I'm glad you shared that friend because some people don't believe my friend found love online. And, and that's because she's a good communicator. That's why. <laughs> he found me. That's right. <laughs> but that's funny because I know when we, we first started dating, I used to get hung up on my words all the time because I'm like so attracted to my husband. So I just right. sitting looking at him like, what? You so sexy. I know that's right. Baby Lorenzo, oh. like, I be talking when he be asleep, I be like this. You love me? <laughs> you love me? Like, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> okay, like, that's I all be, me. I be staring at him, child. Like, that's mine? Me. Yeah. So, the words are important, but it's good to enjoy what you're looking at while you're communicating. You know, people be saying looks don't count, but they do a little bit. Like, you don't want to look at an ugly um, person for the rest of your life. You can be with this person for the rest of your life. Now, this is real talk. Just be honest. You want hey. to be attractive to your spouse. Because guess what? If you're not, and then the communication go bad, then you don't have nothing to even look at to be like, dang, you got on my nerve, but you so fine. You know what I'm saying? You can say that. You so freaking fine. Then I'm mad, but I ain't mad. Cause, cause you fine. You know or are you gonna be like looking at somebody else that is fine? Cause you mad at him, me up. What you are attracted to is what you're attracted to. Don't, don't use somebody else's lenses when you're exactly. defining that. Beauty is in out of hold, and I definitely what I like. You may not like, and that's okay. Hey, as long as you like it. Exactly. Don't let like, don't let your friends be telling you that somebody ugly. If you think they fine, guess what? They fine. Y'all can't tell me that my baby is sexy. I know that's right, child. <laughs> and I communicate that to him all the time. I know that's right. Yes. Yes. So handsome. Good morning, handsome. You have a blessed day today. You go to work and tell them people what to do. Come on, let them come with this chocolate milk. Girl, we all over the place. Yeah. We're, we're communicating. So y'all yeah. gonna get something from this. So friend, tell them L U V again. Listening understanding and validating breaking down communication i have basically it's conveying words properly i didn't look up listening but i looked up comprehension and that is basically meaning listening and hearing so i kind of combine that too and listening with an understanding and that's the next one. Understanding is a thought process, which is why you have to practice that pause sometimes, walk away, have a moment, get everything together, and then come back. Because you want to make sure that when you respond, you're actually responding to what was spoken and not what you, what you may heard. have heard. Exactly. It's a difference. And then the validating, as I stated before, is basically supporting that what someone's saying is their truth and it's of value. And you want to honor that and be respectful of that because we're not gonna always see eye to eye. But you know, you want to let them know that you there's no judgment and that you may have to sometimes compromise, and, and that's basically a great solution and sticking to it. And you can't get upset like people get upset when you don't agree with them. Like, and then that's when you block off. That's when they block yeah. it off. When you're not. That's when they shut down. Yes, because you don't agree, and we gotta stop doing that. People. If you really want to be an effective communicator, you have to listen, whether you agree or not. And then it's gonna get to the next level. We don't agree all the time, but my best friend, right? All the time. Cause she said, ain't nobody can tell me no different. Just making sure y'all knew that. The difference is when you're in community with somebody and when you're in a relationship, no, if you don't agree, you don't tell that to them in front of nobody else. You exactly. have that conversation behind closed doors. Right. It's just like with your husband and wife. And if you got children, y'all got a united front. Even if you don't care what little um Kim said, you better not say it in front of me. You better wait till we go to the room and be like, well, I, babe, I ain't really agree with that. Because then them kids, they smart. So they, they know. Like, 
they gonna come to you and say one thing if you don't agree and they're gonna go to the other one and say mm-hmm. something they're gonna turn y'all against each other and you know what gets me every time when i see couple and one child go to the mom and the mom said no no and they go to the dad and dad be like i don't give it to them no we gotta be on one accord because what they fail to realize how long them kids gonna be around maybe 18 years when they move on out that house you stuck with that person you've been arguing with for 18 years about them kids it's gone who don't care nothing about you right now because they living their life best life communicate with love with love and a smile because that'll make everything feel so more love give love on me and Hey, I'm here for it. Some people still got their Christmas tree up. Same friend. What the world needs is love. I don't want these vocals. <laughs> well, guys, this has been so much freaking fun. Don't forget to comment, like, share, and subscribe. Subscribe. And turn on your notification bells. When we post, watch every single episode. Like it's a TV show. Like you watch your sitcom. Our lady space needs to be right there. Treat us like a Netflix series. <laughs> so binge watch our lady space on YouTube. Look, I need that TikTok. You did. <laughs> Look us up on all platforms, our lady space, because we want you to really feel like a part of the family. And ladies, don't forget, this is also for men. Share us with your spouse. Let them know about the conversations we're having. Just about to say that, friend. We are here. We love you guys. Thank you for watching. Bye. She's Marilyn. I'm Tawana. Bye. Bye.